all members of the Corps God. Korea retired generals and admirals defending the nation, including veterans and General Baek Son Yup. We express deep regret about the Moon administration's short sighted decision to abolish the ROC Japan Jisomia, which is General Security of Military Information Agreement, on 22nd of August 2019, and request withdrawal of the decision once again. At the same time, we inveigh against its suicidal alliance management following the decision related to the Jisomia and announce our stance as follow. First, for the United States that regards the robust ROC US Japan trilateral security cooperation as a linchpin of the Indo Pacific strategy and vital to peace and stability of the Northeast Asia. Expressing its disappointment over the Moon administration's ill-advised Jisomiya decision and its concern over the Seoul government's measures worsening the bilateral relations between its two allies was both reasonable and necessary. However, the ROC Ministry of Foreign Affairs, MOFA, summoned the U.S. Ambassador Harry Harris and protested the Washington's stance and disclosed the meeting to the public. We believing that such an action ignores the basic principles of asymmetric alliance as well as the stark security re realities surrounding the nation strongly denounce the Moon administration's improper and self-destructive alliance management. Second, we appeal to the governments, people, and experts of the U.S., Japan, and other friendly countries. Seoul's policies and measures destroying the nation's security, alliance, and diplomacy including the bungling Jisomiya decision and the undiplomatic behavior were deliberately perpetrated by the ill-motivated Moon administration, thus not reflecting the will of most South Korean people. Majority of South Koreans do not support the traitorous decisions initiated by the Moon administration and its cohorts. Therefore, we cordially urge governments and people of the U.S., Japan, and all other friendly countries to support and encourage the patriotic South Koreans. We always appreciate the Alliance for providing us with the security shield that has made our national survival and prosperity possible and we will do our utmost for its longevity. Third, we urge some policymakers at the Ministry of National Defense, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Blue House to stop treasonous collaboration with any impure people or policies purposefully destroying the alliance. We recommend them not to forget that every political power is destined to be short-lived while its nation and people should continue to exist, and to be afraid of being recorded as public servants without soul in history book. Thank you for listening.